Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Nature Hike P400 cold weather sleeping bag. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So I'm going to be taking a look at this on my bench here, and then I will get it out and show it in full. I just have better lighting here so we can see the up close details on it. Here we have the label. You can pause and read through this. The fabric lining and filler is 100% polyester. The size on this is 86.6 by 31.5 by 3 inches. So if we look at this label stitched into the bottom, it has temperature ranges. So it has three different ratings. It has comfort, transition, and risk. So for comfort, it goes down to 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Transition is 24.8 degrees Fahrenheit and risk is minus four degrees Fahrenheit. So what they're saying is this would typically be comfortable in this weather, this is gonna be more borderline, and this is more for survival type things. So you really want to stay within these first two if you can. So the bag here has these cinch straps on it. So if you want to cinch this down and make it smaller, you can pull on these. So that makes it more compact. Then to open it up, you just pull on here like so. This also gives you lots of grab handles and looks like that goes over the top. So I can probably pull these down while I open it. And here we have a regular sleeping bag cinch bag. So pull the sleeping bag out and I could probably loosen these up a little bit more. So here we have the bag. So this fabric has a nice feel to it, has a little bit of a satiny kind of feel, but it's not too slippery. Feels nice. And this is a mummy style bag. So as opposed to rectangular, it contours the shape of your body. So this end is the toe box. So this is a little bit bigger to hold your feet. Looks like we have some loops here to hang it up. So if you want to dry it or something, and that brings up a point, especially with cold weather sleeping bags, it's best to store the sleeping bag open. And then when you're ready to use it, you can roll it up and put it in the bag and take it with you camping. And then when you get home from camping or using it, leave it open again. What that does is that helps the sleeping bag retain its loft and gives you the maximum insulative value. So we have that Nature Hike logo here. And this looks like it's kind of two colors. And we'll see this more when I get it all laid out. But let's look at the hood. So there's a cinch here for the hood. So you can cinch that up around your head. And we have the zipper. And this is a two-sided zipper. You can use it on the inside or outside. And here we have those ratings again. And then down here at the other end, a couple feet from the toe box, you can also pull the zipper open the opposite way. So if you need some venting down lower, you can vent that and still have it zipped up up top. So I think that's about all I can show on my bench here. I'm going to take this to a more open area where we can see the whole sleeping bag. Okay, so let's get the sleeping bag laid out so we can see it in full. Okay, so here you can see that mummy shape. It's narrow at the toe box, although it's expanded so your feet can stick up, and then it's wider up near the shoulders, and then we have the hood there also. So I'm going to climb in it. I'm around six foot tall, so you can see how I fit in it, and then you can use that to gauge if you might fit into it. I'm also going to be using this Nature Hike pillow. This was also provided to me by Nature Hike. If you want to see a video on this, I'll put a link below to it. Okay, so I fit in there very comfortably. I will say that was very warm in there. So even though this narrows down below, I felt like I did have room to move around. I had a lot of space in the toe box for my feet. Now when I cinched up the hood, I just had an opening for my mouth. And you can see here, there's a filled in padded area here to seal off air around your neck. 
So I really like that feature. I've had other cold weather sleeping bags that have a cinch strap there, but it can feel very constraining. I like the idea of this where you just have that padded area that goes around your neck and can seal out air, but it still allows you to move around. So you can see that this opens up about halfway. So this is pretty much all the way open. It might open another half inch or so. And then this is all enclosed down here. And of course you can unzip this backwards if you want some venting down here, but want to be sealed in up here. So now I'll demonstrate rolling this up. So that's the Nature Hike P400 cold weather sleeping bag. If you've ever been camping in cold weather and you didn't have a cold weather sleeping bag, there's a good chance you had a pretty miserable time. A bag like this is really what you want. It has really good insulation, it's sized to keep you warm, and it has that hood to trap in the heat. I really like the feel of the cloth on this. It didn't feel too slippery. Now it is a polyester, but it had a cotton-like or a softer feel to it. And I really like that cinch up hood and the padded collar to go around your neck because most of this bag is insulated, but you still have that opening for your head to contend with. So those two things really help trap the heat in there. So if you're looking for a good warm weather sleeping bag, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.